There are more than 100 Jane and John Doe's buried in the Pima County Cemetery. They may be gone, but they are not forgotten. Some of those remains are being exhumed in hopes of identifying them and returning them to their loved ones. It's a story the News 4 Tucson investigators first told you about back in February. Now work is underway to identify the remains and hopefully solve some cold cases. News 4 Tucson investigator Lupita Murillo with tonight's report. There are over 100 unidentified remains here at the Pima County Cemetery. Some are homicide victims, others were found in the desert. The Pima County Medical Examiner's Office is doing everything possible to put a name to those remains. By Arizona law, the Office of the Medical Examiner is tasked with identifying every individual that is examined by their office. A $175,000 grant from the Department of Justice is making it possible to exhume multiple graves such as John Doe's 65 and 77, along with Jane Doe number 12 and John Doe number 47, all buried in 1998. And just because in 1998 there wasn't the same technology that we have today doesn't mean that we shouldn't continue to try. Dr. Jennifer Volner is a forensic anthropologist with the Pima County Medical Examiner's Office. Once the remains are exhumed, they're taken in for examination. What we're going to do is cut DNA samples to send out to various labs um, in hopes to identify these individuals. Prior to the year 2000, DNA samples were not taken from unidentified remains, which is why they're being exhumed now. Hopefully somebody out there has been looking for them and has submitted a sample as well to compare to. Dr. Caitlin Bogelsberg, along with Dr. Volner, got the grant for this project. Once the DNA is submitted into the National Combined DNA Index System, or CODIS. There are two sides of it. There are the unidentified sides, uh, and then there's also a side where families can submit samples. So there's a family reference side. Uh, ultimately, our samples will be compared to that. Remains of unsolved homicide victims are included in the exhumation, such as John Doe, number 16, buried in 1997. Car was on fire with this gentleman found inside being consumed by the fire. Retired homicide detective James Gamber handles the cold cases and is present at the exhumations as well as the medical examiner's office when DNA is being extracted. So we hold a section of the DNA for evidentiary purposes especially if you're looking forward at prosecution. The DNA will also be submitted into the national databases, including NamUs, a national information clearinghouse and resource center for missing, unidentified and unclaimed person cases. But more importantly, the motivation to exhume and identify these remains. Obviously, the, you know, the pursuit of criminal prosecution is important to us, but the family is also important to us. Currently, the Pima County Medical Examiner's Office has over 1,000 unidentified remains. This grant is just the tip of the iceberg, but at least it's a start. On the west side, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson. And it will take at least another year before the Medical Examiner's Office hears if any matches have been made, but they have had some success. The last federal grant they received was $250,000 for DNA analysis back in 2018. And according to the medical examiner's office, they collected 237 bone samples, which resulted in 57 identifications.